Okay, let's quickly go through an example of trying to figure out the percentile rank or the percentile of a, of a particular individual on how they did on a test. So the percentile rank, remember, is telling us how many, what percentage of people scored less than we did. So think of it in terms of reference, the self-reference effect. We usually remember things better that way. We care about all the people that scored less than us. We don't want to, we're not interested in the percentage that scored above us. Uh, so that's kind of the idea behind a percentile rank. What percentage of people scored uh, scored below what we did or the particular target individual. So we have Draymond here who got a raw score of 78 on his on his test and we want to figure out what the percentile rank is and what we need for that is the the mean uh, for the test, the overall mean, the population mean, and the population standard deviation. Well we've got that so we can quickly go and figure out what his percentile rank is. So we're going to figure out his z-score first and so he got a 70, remember a z-score, I'll write down that formula. Um, the score minus the population mean divided by the population standard deviation. And so in this case, his score is a 78 minus 60 divided by 10, which equals 18 divided by 10, which equals 1.8. So he has a z-score of 1.8. And we're trying to figure out what's the percentage of people who scored below what he did. And so if we have our normal distribution here, and his score was a 1.8, which might be about right there, we want to know this percentage, the people who scored below what he did, that whole percentage. And so when we look at that, look for that in the back of the book in Appendix A, in the Z distribution table, we're going to be looking for the proportion in the body, right, rather than the proportion in the tail. So uh, when we do that, I've got the uh, got the table right here, the Z distribution table. And we said 1.8. I found it right here. 1.8. We have uh, proportion in the body is 0 0.9641. I don't know if you can actually see that at all in the video, uh, but 0.9641. And so we'd probably say he scored at roughly the 96th percentile. Okay. One more example, or we could make it precise, and it would be fine for you to do that, of 96.41 percentile. Another example here uh, for Sam, uh, he scored a 90 on his IQ test. And as you might know, may or may not know, that most IQ tests are, are normed for a mean of 100, or transformed, I should say, for a mean of 100, and a standard deviation of 15. So again, we figure out his z-score. And so he scored a 90 minus 100 divided by 15, which gives us negative 10 divided by 15. Um, so that's negative two-thirds, which would be negative 0.666. Ooh, um, that was kind of satanic. Sorry for that. Uh, I'm sorry, bad, I've got a bad sense of humor. Here we go. So point, uh, negative 0.666. And so, again, let's draw out our distribution. I think that's It's always helpful to draw it out. Get a visual for what it is that we're looking for. So a zero is here. Negative end of the distribution is over here. His Z is probably about right here, 0.66, we'll say. And everybody who sco scored below um, what, what he did there. So in this case, this is the body over here. This is the tail. We're going to be looking for the tail uh, for, the, for the distribution. And so I look for a Z of 0.66. I found it here. And the tail of the distribution is 0.2546. And so we could say here that he scored roughly at the 25th percentile, or again, if we want to be precise, at 46, whoops, excuse me, 46 percentile. Okay, this should help you with this part of the homework that you that you have to get through.